like Natalie in Brooklyn, or whatever her name is, Perfect Sky, I am torn. The comedian slash magician Jerry Sadowitz has recently got in trouble and had two shows cancelled for doing and saying some very awful things in his latest Edinburgh show. Now, the trouble is, although I have never seen Jerry Sandwich, I have heard some very good things about him and know he's an established comedian and therefore I want to defend him by saying it's just an act. He doesn't mean this. Shit. But then I realized those are exactly the same arguments you to defend douchebags like Jimmy Carr and Ricky Gervais. So can I really defend Jerry Sandwich while being consistent? I mean, I used to be a bit of a Jimmy Carr apologist. It's okay, I reformed, I realized I'm wrong, but my defense of Jimmy Carr was always... <laughs> he doesn't mean those awful things. He's just an act, so... I can't justify why it depends on Jerry Sandwich, although I respect him immensely, is any different. Obviously, I can see Jerry Sandwich's act is a lot deeper and more clever. He's like a it's magician that does look like child friendly magic while saying these awful, disgusting, but very well crafted jokes. And it, in many ways, it is clever. But what good is cleverness? Nowadays, when most of the public are fucking idiots. I also think social media has very much changed the landscape. Back when Jerry Sandovich was young, the only people that would see it, would have even heard Jerry's jokes, would be people in on the act, people who realise that he doesn't mean the awful things. But now, thanks to social media, things he no longer has a niche audience. I've read he tries relentlessly to get every clip of him taken down on YouTube and I respect this as a winner he knows things can get taken out of context but ultimately you can't hold back the tied these days and if somebody wants to put something online it ultimately will be online. So yeah, regardless of how clever, deep and in some way funny Jerry Sandwich's act is, I 
don't think if we want a Wonka society, we can have any comedians, no matter how talented they are, using racial slurs and exposing themselves to women. So, sorry, although I said I think he's very funny, I can't really defend him and be consistent.